Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful world of hermits and crafting. And we're here in the Diamond Challenge Mine, where in our last episode, we dug deep into the mine to get, well, three stacks of diamond ore. And I love how it perfectly equaled three stacks. That's very satisfying. Now, these three stacks of diamonds are to pay for the land that our shop in the shopping district occupies. And that, of course, is the chess monster shop and uh we have not opened this shop yet because well <laughs> we haven't paid for the land yet now i got away with that because there's no authority in the shopping district so <laughs> nobody stopped me so we'll head over there with the diamonds to purchase the land so let's start harvesting these on this beautiful hermitcraft sunrise morning <gasps> Not beautiful. Hey, leave me alone. Three stacks of diamond blocks later, we have this giant pillar here. And I'm very curious to know, can you guess how many diamonds we've got in this stack right here? Put your guess in the comments. For the first person that is the closest or guesses it, I'll name a mob in the world after you. So put your number down in the comments and I'm gonna get harvesting. That is right, 704 diamonds. That is way more than I thought. So I wanted to come back into the mines and show you everything that we've got, not just the diamonds. So here is some, wait, wait, there's there's 705 diamonds. <laughs> I didn't see that, that's hilarious. But here's some of the ore we've gotten, some of the andesite, smooth stone, more smooth stone, cobblestone, dirt, more smooth stone, miscellaneous and gravel, cobblestone, and now we're gonna start getting to the ore. So we have redstone, we have our iron and coal blocks, and then more miscellaneous blocks. And yeah, I am quite proud of this operation. This is what happens when you stay home for too long. Also, went back to the end and got more shulker boxes. We're totally set at this shop. So let's gather up our diamonds, head to the shopping district, and finally pay for that land. Fly it into the shopping district. I want to thank you so much for all the support on the chess monster shop, which we built in our last episode. It was so much fun to build, and I'm so glad you guys liked it. And as when we flew in here, you can see there is another chest right here, and I want to start putting more of these along the shop perimeter. And I've done some calculations to see how much this land is going to cost. So for just this shop, it will cost four diamond blocks and if we want it will cost 15 to buy the entire mountain perimeter so i think we might have enough diamonds and what we'll need to do in the interior here is ho oh, hello <laughs> it looks like somebody's already been here and purchased some so that leads me to wonder oh sweet merlin's beer that's a lot of diamonds <laughs> Operation Aqua Thunder is well underway. So let's add a couple more diamonds here to this pillar. And we're going to be adding 15 so we can own that entire mountain over there and some of its adjoining land. <laughs> there we are. We added a whole lot more diamonds to that pile. But we're going to be adding a whole lot more. Part of, you guessed it, Operation Aqua Thunder. I was so shocked a minute ago, I couldn't even pronounce Aqua Thunder in its normal cadence <laughs> by how much diamonds we made from the chess monster shop, which was technically an illegal shop because we never paid for the land. So are these illegal diamonds? There's no authority here in the shopping district. <laughs> so I have a question for you. Do you like the chess monster with the buckle nose or without it? In the comments let me know because in the last episode we didn't have it and we added it in our live stream up there so i'm gonna put a poll and let me know what your guys's thoughts are on that because i'm like 50 50 at the moment so any of your wonderful and beautiful insight would be much appreciated i hope you're doing okay in there jelly speaking of jelly jelly makes me sad that we have no jelly here on the server but this is the land that we are going to buy with all of these diamonds so that we have a little real estate in the bank for future use part of operation aqua thunder and with operation aqua thunder we will own this land and use it for future endeavors and yeah i think it will be really really fun to own this and transform it into something beautiful hi friends please leave me alone so I may have gotten a little carried away here. I have spent quite some time measuring and calculating the land below us 
to determine how much it would cost to purchase this. Also, this looks kind of like the state of Florida. It's kind of hanging onto the mushroom island for dear life, which I thought was kind of amusing, but that's beside the point. This entire chunk of land would cost us a grand total of 58 diamond blocks, which we only have 44. So is it worth it? Oh, by the way, Hermits, please buy shulker boxes. Thank you. Um, <laughs> should we buy this? I don't know. It's a lot of diamonds and it's a lot of land. I know we could do something amazing here. And this would be where we dedicate all of our shops to be in one location. And potentially we could even auction off some of the land to the other hermits to be a part of this little kind of uh, offshoot of the main mushroom island. I think we could do something really cool. It's expensive. It's a lot of land. So we got to make some decisions. Is it worth it by the end of this episode? So. Until Hermits buy more shulker boxes and we decide, let's head back to Fantasy Cove. Welcome back to Larry the Snail and I'm just enjoying a little bit of wizard fruit here because I'm right in your face now. We are trying to decide how we want to proceed with our next project here in the Fantasy Cove. And what that next project is, is a gigantic, magical village full of our villagers that we could trade with. But here's the problem we don't have any means of getting villagers because I've checked all the different villagers and they've all been wiped out by meanie bears. That's right, those mean little panda bears back there. Some think it's zombies. No, it's meanie bears. They kill villagers and they ruin lives. Anyway, we are going to see if Stress Monster will sell us two of her beautiful villagers that she has in her out out what in the world help 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 magical fruit <laughs> that's why you oh oh dear oh wow oh my where 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 have we ended up <laughs> help can can i eat another one of these things oh no we are very lost now <laughs> how are we gonna get out of here but as i was saying we're gonna go if we can get out of this cave, that is, over to Stress Monster's base and buy ourselves two of her villagers. Or we'll leave a book and see if she's willing to sell us some. But I really need to find a way out of here. Just as I finish up the book here for Stress Monster and the order for two of her villagers, she logs on. So <laughs> let's save some time with this book, fly over to her base and see if we can find her. Okay, I found Stress Monster. She's doing some work down there and we've got her now. So can we do a little bit of magical business? So let's fly down there and see if we can get her attention. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I was thinking that that was why you was coming over here with the hello. I was like, oh God. Oh God. <laughs> you knew I was up to something. <laughs> you know, I have a new I was invention. I something. Oh, oh God, okay, yeah. It's wizard's fruit. Look at this, watch this. Oh. I've got a wizard fruit, Scott. Where did you go? I have, I have, I have, I'm underground again. I had this happen to me just a few oh, minutes no. ago. What did you do that for? Hello. Oh, you're breaking me sad, Scott. Oh, no. Look what you've done to me, beautiful Ariel. You've ruined me. I thought it was the express route out of the cave. What have you done? You know, as a wizard, as a wizard, I have a guarantee with all my magic. And I will fix this. I will fix this, I promise. <laughs> all right, it's fine. It's the kind of thing I would do, so I won't hold anything against you. <laughs> would you like to give it a go? No. Oh, okay. Well, you know what the best part you about wizard fruit is? What? You can, it's like candy. And you can eat as much as you want. You have no negative side effects. I have one as well. I got one out of Mumbo's shop thing. Oh, but that's just chorus fruit. This is wizard fruit. No, this is called wizard fruit. Look. Oh, really? Hang on. Look. It is, see? Yeah, it's counterfeit. It says one. wizard's fruit. Mine's just wizard fruit. <laughs> okay, can I have that counterfeit back, though, please? Yes. I um, paid good money for that. Thank you. <laughs> but see, stress. See, here's the thing. I was flying over your base the other day in this beautiful island here, and I saw that you yeah. have imprisoned these beautiful Dumbledores. This guy looks like a yeah. sailor. Look at his shoulders. <laughs> They're, they're not imprisoned. They're in safety. Oh, oh okay. Safety. See? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm in great need of two blank avatars that I can imprint my magic into and okay. make a beautiful village. Now, do you have any of these for sale? I mean, you, you've got quite a few of them here. Well, obviously, these aren't blank, but I might have a few. 
in hiding in a Ooh. very secret area. That's what I'm I hoping. could probably let go, if you like. And yes. what, what, would, mm -hmm. what, would, what would you say would be a purchase price for that? What have you got to offer, Scar? That's what I want to know. As a wizard, a traveling wizard, <laughs> I have magic. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to enchant your armor beyond your wildest dreams by holding that crystal? Um, your enchants on your all of your armor just increase by 10%. It don't say that I have no increased of nothing. Well, you have though. to believe it. It's all about believing. Under normal circumstances. Lucky, circumstance, lucky. Look like, at the lucky okay, crystal. Yeah, yep. okay, <laughs> all right. I have to admit, the colors are amazing. Um, <laughs> I, I kind of feel like, though, I want to see what else you have. There's oh, wizard fruits. No, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anything else? Health boost? Um, again? Um. <sighs> Do you, do you have anything that's not a magical crystal that I have abundance of? All right, let me go. Let me, all right, just give me a minute. <laughs> let me go back to my cart. Oh, jeez. I'll be right back. All right. I got something worthless. Not as good as the crystals. All right. <laughs> all right, okay. Free landscaping. How about that? Ooh. Or builds, whatever you want. I'm opening a landscape shop at some point. Very excited. Now, this, this is something I could use because. As you well know, you live in the jungle also. It's a pain in the buttocks <laughs> ripping things down all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. I, I feel I feel like I actually feel like this is something I could use. I'm gonna throw this in there because I want you just to enjoy it. I want you to hold it, I want you to enjoy it, I want you to see the benefits, and then you'll be coming and back to me and you'll be you know purchasing my whole whole stock. I'm throwing that it's in the there. It's the perfect color as well. I love it. Double okay. it up. Now, now, now you've got yes. the perfect combination. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, I will take that deal, Scar. All right. How many villagers did you want? One? Uh, a two. Two would be great. Two. <laughs> you, know, for, you know, I need to make more, so that's how it works. Okay. You know. Yeah, you don't make the same um, thing that Iskall did. He only ordered one when he did it. Um, oh, well, I mean, come on, it's Iskall. I knew I've come to the right place. Look at these guys over here. Look at oh, look at them. These ones. <laughs> look at them. You they look like characters out of Star pieces. Wars. Oh, I love it. Yeah, they do. Um, be warned, their babies. If you like their outfits, babies might not turn out like these outfits. They will turn out like these outfits here. You know, I like these. They look like I don't know, like a costume at Disneyland. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, if you want to take these types, you're more than welcome to. These ones oh, will be good. They're already pre mine carded. This actually yeah. works out really good. What a good time we had with Stress Monster. The only problem is I came out of from the other ground now and everything wants to kill me <laughs> and leave my villagers alone. <gasps> no, no, no. Why does everything want to kill me and my new friends? I finally made friends and now they're green. Oh no. He broke out. He's heading for dry land. And this one turned into a zombie. No. How do you cure him? It's been years since I cured a zombie. Oh, no. <laughs> this is so bad. No bit of magic in the world could have saved us from that. The phantoms, the drowned, the zombies. There were skeletons up in the trees sniping me. We lost him. We lost one of our villagers. After he was converted, he went down into the trench over there that we accidentally caused. And then this one escaped to hide amongst the sheep. <laughs> He's now a, a sheep man who will hide th amongst them so I don't uh, take him anywhere. He's scared of me, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't blame him. That amazing stress monster. I told her what happened. She offered me two more. So we need to think of something super nice for her for being so generous and considering I've been a force of destruction around here. But I have something to show you real quick as we get two more villagers out. Isn't this a hamburger, right? You have the bun, you have the lettuce, you have the meat, and then the bun on top. It's a hamburger. Tell me that doesn't look like a hamburger. Don't worry, Larry. We're getting those villagers brought to you right away. We've got the rail line set up and ready to go. So let's do this one more time. And there goes one, and there goes hamburger man. Ha <laughs> ha, there they go. <laughs> it looks like the one guy's like running from hamburger man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. And there they are, safe and sound in their new little bunker. Don't do anything reckless in there. Now that we have our villagers, let's take a little time here and plan out Fantasy Cove because 
We've got a lot of super awesome ideas. Also, I just planned out my entire season, by the way. I know what we're going to do once we finish up this area, and it's very exciting. I'll reveal it to you all very soon. But for now, what we're going to work on is we're going to build up a beautiful, magical village here full of mushroom houses and everything fantasy related that you could imagine in this area. It's going to be where our villagers live. And of course, we're going to be doing our trading and all those wonderful things there. We're going to start building up our pathways across here. We're going to start, you know, adding a little bit of crystals, poking up out of the ground that we're harvesting. And then we have this area and I don't know what to do here. So let me know in the comments because I need to figure that out. The sun's going a little hunting expedition. Anyway, um, so let's fly back over here and I want to make a villager breeder for the village with impulses design. Um, the only problem is I, I, I kind of forgot where we put the villagers. Um, hello. Oh, there you guys are. <laughs> There's that beautiful hamburger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down a little bit in the ground build up Impulse's Villager Breeder, start getting that process done, and then start planning out our magical village. Followed Impulse's tutorial, not exactly because we don't have an extra villager for the carrot farm, which we can add later, but the mechanism here I think should work. We will put our villagers up there, they will have their beds for their village, the babies will drop down, and then eventually I'm thinking we can open up the little trap door and maybe have a minecart go across here, but the minecart may hang up on that trap door, so we'll do some testing. Hamburger Man couldn't be any happier in his new home. After quite some time, the villagers are breeding. That is right, we've got a bunch of little fellas down there. <laughs> Come on, you have to believe me in the fact that that looks like a hamburger. <laughs> also kind of an upside down hamburger because I don't know about you, but back in the day when I ate, I always preferred the lettuce on top, not on the bottom. Don't know why, but if it wasn't on the top, something was wrong with that hamburger. Anyway, so now that the <laughs> way too much hamburger talk, now that the villager breeder is all set up and ready to roll, we can move on to our next projects in getting that village ready to be built. Look at old Lair there looking super cute, but we are high up on the trees because we're going to start planning out what we're going to do. So we're going to wipe out this land here, completely deforest it mumbo style <laughs> and we're going to start planning how this village is going to go and if we have time we'll work on some pathways because i'd like a better pathway to the portal and to my buddy Grian, the pesky bird neighbor so with that let's hit super fast deforest mode <laughs> of super fast build mode and we've got ourselves one super awesome little cleared out space down below that will be the home of our fantasy village where our villagers will live and we'll be able to trade with them as they roam about in their village with their little houses and then tucked into it will be some additional farms for our needs i think this area is going to be really really beautiful once we complete it it's even got cats come on that just makes me happy right away so I'm going to start laying this out, start brainstorming, things along those lines. Next thing I want to move on to today is the establishment of some pathways in this area and to finally finish the project that Green asked me to do, which was texturize all of these columns. And we only got one done. <laughs> so we'll finish that and maybe, just maybe, put a little crystal in the center of this column, powering the creeper farm. But anyway, let's hit super fast build mode one more time.
of super fast build mode and we've got ourselves a terraformed island and a beautiful green crystal here looking super fancy and it's looking a lot better than it was with the giant crater in the center and apparently it's a unintentional mob farm that needs to be taken care of or that's going to destroy our rates in the creeper farm below it so yeah, I think it's looking nice, but we might definitely make some changes to it. Maybe swap out the crystal for something else or change its color because, well, being green, it has a backdrop of green and blends right into it. But uh, for now, I'm going to leave it, get Green's feedback on it and hear from you. But we have something else to do, and that is to decide if we need to make the massive land purchase in the shopping district. I went mining again, by the way. <laughs> Landed safe and sound with a pocket of diamonds, calculated out the land, and it is time to make that decision. So above us here <laughs> is an entire chunk of land that we can transform into something absolutely spectacular in the future. It is a total of 65 chunks. I added it up wrong before. <laughs> Big surprise. So yeah. This is a big chunk. I also added two more off of the end there. And yeah, should we do it or should we not? If we do purchase this land for 65 diamond blocks, we need to make sure that we do something really fantastic for the other hermits here. So that is, that's my pledge, right? So we're pledging that we're gonna make something absolutely fantastic for the other hermits. And yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling good about this. I'm so ready to purchase this land and truly start our season off where we build something absolutely fantastic. We... <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that green... <laughs> he bought the central chunk of all the chunks. Not the one in the water, not the one in the corner. He bought the one in the middle. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Well, <laughs> we're going to buy up all the other chunks around it. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> oh, they don't call him a pesky bear for nothing. Oh, <laughs> that is really funny. But we're not going to let that stop us. And I just had a thought. It's 64 diamond blocks now. We're not paying for his chunk. So that's 64, not 65. We saved nine diamonds. Wow. We just contributed 64 diamond blocks to the pile. That's insane. And we have our one extra block because, well, <laughs> the pesky green. <laughs> this land is owned by Operation Uncle Thunder. And we will soon transform this land into something absolutely fantastic. I envision like a little city over here for the hermits to buy plots that have been transformed into something absolutely fantastic we'll have our own shops all coalesced into this one area and i think it'll be really really fantastic and there we go my friends one of the largest purchases ever on hermitcraft we did it <laughs> and until next time this has been good times with scarring always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos and if you believe the video started rating that would be much appreciated and as we glitch away we'll see you later and don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scarred for life